Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can click the Print Later checkbox that appears within the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the Write Checks window to save a check to print later. When you do want to print your checks later, open the Write Checks window by selecting Banking from the menu bar and then choosing the Write Checks command. To print a single check, use the Previous and Next buttons that appear in the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the Write Checks window to display the check that you would like to print. Then click the drop down arrow that appears at the bottom of the print button within the main tab of the ribbon, and from the drop down menu that appears, simply select the check command to display the print checks dialog box where you set the printing options for that selected check. To print a batch of checks that you have saved and marked with the print later checkbox, open the write checks window and then click the drop down arrow on the print button that appears in the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the window. From the drop down menu that appears, choose the batch command to display the select checks to print dialog box. In this dialog box you can remove the check marks from any checks listed that you don't want to print if needed. Now ensure that you have the correct account selected from the bank account dropdown, and then enter the first check number to assign to the batch of checks into the first check number field. Once you've set the desired options, you can then click the OK button to open the print checks dialog box. Next, place the paper checks into your printer and set any desired printing options within the print checks dialog box. This dialog box displays three tabs, settings, fonts, and partial page. On the settings tab, you can use the printer name dropdown to select the printer that contains the checks that you're going to print. If needed, you can use the printer type dropdown to select the type of printer you're using. Then in the check style section, Select the option button that corresponds to the check style that you will use for printing checks, voucher, standard, or wallet. To the right of that, you can enter the number of copies of each check to print into the number of copies text box. You can check the collate checkbox to ensure that they print collated. You can check the print company name and address checkbox to print your company name and address on the checks if they are not pre-printed and you are using either the voucher or standard check styles. If you want to include a company logo on your checks, then check the Use Logo checkbox. If you have not loaded a logo file yet, then the Logo dialog box will appear and allow you to browse for the logo file for your checks. The logo file must be of an acceptable type for use in QuickBooks. The accepted types include JPEG, GIF, and bitmap file types. The logo must also be a perfect square. The smaller the logo file size, the more quickly the logo will be loaded into QuickBooks and printed on your checks. Also note that you can only print your logo on voucher and standard check styles, and that you must be in single user mode in order to load a logo into QuickBooks. Assuming that all of these criteria are met, you can easily load a logo by simply clicking the File button in the Logo dialog box to open an Open Logo File window where you can browse for and then select the logo file to print on your checks. Now if you have an endorsement signature that you want to print on your checks instead of having to sign each check individually, then simply check the Print Signature Image checkbox. Note that you must have your signature image saved as a graphic file before you can add it to your checks. If you do, then use the signature dialog box that appears to select your signature file. You use this dialog box in the same way that you use the logo dialog box. Simply click the file button to launch an open logo file window where you can browse to and then select your signature image to use within the checks. You can click the Fonts tab to set the font style to use within checks. You can click the Address Font button to open the Select Address Font dialog box where you can set the font appearance for your company name and address. 
Then click the OK button when you're finished to return to the Fonts tab. You can click the Font button to open the Select Font dialog box, where you can choose the font used for most of the text within the checks. Note that you cannot change the text used to display the amount. When finished, simply click the OK button to return to the Fonts tab. You can print partial pages of multi-page checks, like the standard or wallet sizes, by using the Partial Page tab to select the Option button that corresponds to the envelope loading style used by the envelope feeder on your printer. Once you've set your desired printing options for your checks, simply click the Print button at the right side of the Print Checks dialog box to print your checks. Before printing your checks, note that the total number of checks to print and the total dollar value are displayed at the top of the Print Checks dialog box. This can be a great way to double check the number of checks to print before actually printing the checks. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.